Kripsats made his return to MSG and he was booed like he was on draft day. And to be honest, he kind of deserved it. But Luka Doncic did his thing. Luka had 27, 10, and 9. Kristaps Porzingis played pretty well. They did take an L to the Knicks, but who wants to talk about the Knicks? They're trash. I say that this dynamic duo is the most complimentary dynamic Ooh. duo that we have in the league, maybe second to LeBron and AD. Do you think that they are one of the most complimentary dynamic duos? I would flip flop that. I would have AD and LeBron James ahead of them just because their, their pick and roll game cannot be guarded. Everyone yes. did not really expect LeBron James to average a triple double almost and lead the league in assists. He's doing that not from the shooters, what we expected, right? With like Danny Green shooting and Kuzma finally out there shooting from the outside. He's doing it with the pick and roll game. But in fairness, so I, the reason I wanted to watch that Thursday night football Football game, but I mm -hmm. couldn't because of the Knicks Mavs. The game was actually super fun. <laughs> and I was just saying on Twitter, I was like, man, I really feel for Knicks fans, like especially this week, the tumultuous nature of the press conference. Yes. And then, you know, oh, maybe we're going to fire Coach Fizdale. And then all of a sudden you get a big game, you get Porzingis back, and then they win. Like, what? That for, for me, it was a roller coaster of emotions for just one week. I was like, how do you survive a lifetime? Of being a Knicks fan. Like, to me, that's just kind of crazy. But it's, they are complimentary. Tough. You're correct. I like the matchup, um, you know, that they pose together. Luka is just tough. He, like, rattled off He's three so threes good. from the same spot. Perzingis had, like, the, the best way to end a, a quarter. He struggled in the first half, then he went in and had this monster dunk to end, um, you know, the third quarter, and it was sort of like, dang, it's like looking at your ex and like, oh, you look good. <laughs> it and is. It's not fair. So, Janae, Janae, I'm going to call you out live on national television. Okay. You kind of forced your way off a team in the WNBA before, and you had to return and play there. What's it like? What's that feeling going back into that arena that you kind of left behind? So I wouldn't say forced. Maybe I boxed okay. out, cleared okay. the lane a little bit. Okay. See, the difference is, is a lot of people didn't understand at that time, it was really for work-life balance. Again, like here, I'm on the West Coast. Those 7 p.m. games or 10 p.m. games, you know, like it just was so hard for me to manage everything, fa family and then work. But that's a conversation for another day. When I went back to, <laughs> when I went back to Mohegan, I get exactly what Chris Porzingis went through just because I think he, it took him like two or quarters or so. He was like one for 10 to start the yep. game because you're nervous and you're anxious. And you know, that's like an arena, not necessarily full of great vibes. They're booing you and it's loud, but then it's sort of your competitive instinct sets in. And so, yes, I got booed. I got booed not only in the regular season, I got booed in the playoffs. We lost to my former team. It hurt, yep. but shout out to the Connecticut Sun because their culture, you know, something I was a, a part of was, was tremendous and their women's basketball fans, like some of the best in the world world so I'm not mad at getting booed and I think I was sitting on the jump and Scottie Pippen um, said hey you know if they're booing you that sh that means they care and that so that's care. the same um, you know the only thing is you sort of wish you walked out with a win if you're Przingis and myself but maybe it's a long-term win at life and now the don't get fired topic of the day well the Cavs are trash but they do have a nice young backcourt with Con Sexton and Darius Garland. You changed my name. Well, the Cavs fans love this backcourt so much, they gave them a nickname. Do you know what that nickname is? I'm I'm afraid of it. Sexland. <laughs> Darius Garland and Colin Sexton are now Sexland. Are you ready to embrace Sexland. I am here for Sexland because they're bringing <laughs> life. They're bringing new energy to Cleveland. So I'm done. I can't. I can't. I can't with this topic. It is the don't get fired topic of the day. It is the don't get fired topic energy. of the day. When we, 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 we said Sexland and you said they're bringing life, I was just like, oh, God, I don't even know what she, I don't think she knows what she just did. I know. I'm, I not, I'm so, literally about to start sweating. I'm so excited for Sexland. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.